Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today's item was actually sent to us for review by Entertainment Earth. So big thank you to Entertainment Earth for giving us something awesome to show and look at and admire and geek out with, or the, <laughs> with all of you. Um, what's really cool about this is that I am such a big KISS fan. Some of you guys might remember when we reviewed the Geeky Tiki's, I went off talking in KISS puns for like a quarter of that video. You may have not have even caught on. I know, it felt like I went on for 100,000 years. I can really, I can keep going. I love KISS. So today we are going to look at the brand new um, KISS, the three and three quarter inch action figures, Entertainment Earth Exclusives by Bing Bang Pow and Biff Bang Pow? They're by Biff Bang Pow. And like, they're already sold out. I'm not even kidding. These went live yesterday and they are sold out. I am so grateful to have received an like a whole, all of these, all of these for review. I'm so grateful uh, because it's funny, Entertainment Earth, they know that I am a very loud and proud KISS fan, KISS Army, you know, um, all my life. So we're gonna check these out. They are there are two waves. So yes, there's four members of Kiss. Um, so we're checking out the two waves: Rock and Roll Over and Psycho Circus. For the uninitiated, um, so you may not know, Kiss has always been in it for the merchandising. This is no, this is nothing new. Like from the first time those dudes stepped on stage, like not even like pre pre self titled album. Gene was always like merchandising. We want toys everything um you know kiss related so every single album that they made like every tour it was um like they all wore different outfits to like represent the era of, like the costume represented the album so when they went on tour you're like oh it's the rock and roll over tour it's the dress to kill tour it's the hotter than hell tour it's the psycho circus tour and that gimmick just kept going and even when they took off their makeup in the 80s Oh my god, those costumes, like, give me... <laughs> I don't think there's any 80s Kiss merchandise, and I have a soft spot for 80s Kiss. Like, if you ever watch the um, Tears Are Falling video, <laughs> and you see Paul with, like, the fringes and the yellow and the magenta, like, oh my god, if there isn't something to be said about that. And I'm always saying, and this is deep dive, I'm always saying my spirit animal is Gene Simmons in the Lick It Up video. It's like, y'all's really about it. Yeah, just like that. The Prowl, oh my god, anyway. I'm digressing. Let's look at some action figures. And we are gonna open some of these. I just wanted to show you, so this is series four that we're checking, that we're checking out today. Um, again, the Rock and Roll Over and the Psycho Circus are series four. I have these two. I opened them for my kids because I'm a sucker. So these are also Entertainment Earth exclusives. Um, Paul Stanley, Star Child. I don't remember which wave this is, which series. It's probably, probably, I would peg it for probably two. Probably series two from when I got it. If you know, please correct me in the comments. Um, I found these at a show. They were sealed. They were perfect. And when my kids got really into Kiss, I opened them. I'm like blushing. I'm like turning red. I'm so mad. Like, <laughs> Just all these anger, all this, all this remorse just coursing through my body. I wish I didn't open these, but that's okay. They're still beautiful. They each came with their accessory. Gene had his bass, and Paul Stanley had his rhythm guitar. Um, and, you know, I don't personally recognize which albums the ears are from. I know I've seen Paul bouncing around stage and, you know, then the Star Child jumpsuit. Um... You know, if it was Dynasty, I would recognize it because it'd be all disco. Like, I think um, they had, like, fluffy boa jackets and all that Michigas. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a dark time in history that some fans choose not to remember. So, one thing I'm really, like, let's look at, let's look at these, these cards. One thing I'm really happy about 
And let's look at um, Rock and Roll Over first, because that album came before Psycho Circus, which is a 90s album, late 90s album, when the, all four dudes got back together. I was lucky enough to see, I've seen Kiss in concert twice. The first time, um, Peter Chris was on drums. Um, and then the second time, it was Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer. What I love, love about the card art is that Ace Freely, like, there's so much Kiss merchandise now that's just, you know, the Spaceman, the Catman. And that's because, you know, Gene Simmons and the powers that be on the legal team have the rights to those characters. Okay. Oh, look, there's a rock and roll over deluxe box set, too. They got the jackets. Isn't that fun? Uh, they own the rights to the characters. Characters. You know, if those of you deep dive Kiss fans, you'll know. I mean, there's comic books the old movie, more comic books, um, artwork, like, you know, deep dive characters. But uh, with Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer having been in the band for so long at this point, I mean, you know, it, it feels sometimes like Ace and Peter are kind of thrown. And I just, I've said it a billion times, you can't really see, yeah, he's really blown out on that card art. But I just have inappropriate feelings for Ace Freely. Oh my God! Like nobody touches that that guitar like Ace Freely. Like he he starts playing. Here's the uh, the Stat Child in his firehouse. Get the firehouse. Um, I love it. I love that. I love that detail. We have his guitar. Yeah, I you you like can hear when Ace Freely is touching a guitar, and I just love the spaceman like i'm always saying gene simmons is like my spirit animal like my business sense and ace freely is like you know like rocket ride dude shock me um i just love him his playing so here's yeah here's the rock and roll over we have gene i'll go over these again are you guys gonna yell at me if i don't open them again i'll show you the articulation and stuff Here's the, the old one, and this one's open. So we have really good articulation, honestly. We have bends in the elbow. We got bends in the other, oh, come on. So they can actually hold their instruments, and that's really important because like, you wanna set these dudes up to play, and we have Gene in his big, wide stance. Yeah, you know how Gene Simmons plays that bass, like, you know? Yeah, just taking up space. All right, legs don't open, but yeah, they bend like this. And, ooh, very limited head articulation. Actually, if you twist him too hard, he might like snap. I'm gonna show you the other, um, the, the Psycho Circus ones, and then we'll talk about opening these or not. I should, they're review samples, they need to be opened, right? I know, I know. Just collect, collector's life. So yeah, with a little bit of hip articulation. This Again, these are my old ones. So we can actually op we'll open some Series 4 and see how they compare. Okay, Psycho Circus. Oh, you know what? Hey, look at this. You know what? We're going to open um, we're gonna open Spaceman in a second because, whoopsie, that's actually torn from the card. So cool. Don't even have to think about it. We'll come back to that. So Psycho Circus. Um, yeah. You got the back. These are beautiful cards, and I really like, what would you call it, distress? Would you call it uh, battle damage? <laughs> uh, this, the, the sort of effects where it looks older, you know? I know for robots and stuff, you might call it battle damage or distressed, aged. So this is cool. Like, I love, look at that artwork. Again, this is very 90s. Um, this is when Kiss put the makeup back on and all four members got back together and we were in the Psycho Circus. And I say welcome to the show. Uh, Gene Simmons inspired me to pick up the bass. So I do play bass. I have played bass at the intermediate level since I was 17 years old. Um, it, like I shot off like a rocket. Rocket, rocket. And it seemed like I was gonna be a bass playing prodigy. And I've just been at that same level. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that, nearly 18 years? Yeah, and I've been at the same level for 18 years. 
Um, yeah, Paul was really into showing off the chest hair. There's not, there's not much chest hair here. This is the 90s though, he may have waxed by then. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, what a fuzzy man. My best friend was really into it. I remember when we got into Kiss, when we were coming of age, um, she was all just like Paul Stanley in the chest hair. Sorry, Tierney, I don't mean to out you. And I'm not trying to embarrass you. But yeah, she was like way into that for a minute. And I always like, like I said, my uh, my head was Gene Simmons and my heart was Ace Frehley and Catman right here. I think that Eric Singer looks really good in the Catman costume. Like if someone didn't tell me, if I had no idea, I was just completely had no idea. And someone showed me Eric Singer as the Catman, <laughs> Eric Singer as Peter Chris as the Catman. I really would have no idea um, that it wasn't the same person without any disrespect. And I, I go I go on this tangent any opportunity I get because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> you hang out with me in person, you'll hear tangents. But um, uh, yeah, Tommy Thayer, Tommy Thayer as the spaceman is, is, is just aesthetically, aesthetically phenomenal musician. My goodness, did that man have some shoes to fill, especially after all the guitarists that have graced Kiss like we had. Oh my gosh, what? Vinnie Vincent, Bruce Kulik, Mark St. John. Um, there was another Kulik, wasn't there? And yeah, just, and then whoever was in, you know, all the studio musicians, and it kept going and going and going. And then, you know, we get to today, and Tommy Thayer's been there for quite a while, and he's rocking. He's a cool, cool guy, but he just doesn't, he doesn't wear the makeup quite as well. All right, so this at some point tore nice and clean because Ace Frehley just wanted me to let him out. <laughs> I want out by Halloween jumps into my head. I can't sing it or like, play, you know, play it because, you know, we don't want to, we don't want this video to get flagged. So no singing, it's all going to have to be in your head. Alrighty, so here we, here I am, here we are, we are one. I've been waiting for this night to come. Here we are. Here's um, Ace Frehley's Psycho Circus. It's really kind of funny with the polka dot outfit. I love, I've always loved these big, crazy arm shield, like the shields that he's worn um, in his costumes. It's always been very Japanese. I want to say that I once heard that Ace Frehley and the Spaceman character specifically was very, very popular in Japan. And I totally, totally get it. Like he's got the you know, Super Sentai, Ultraman, S.H.I.E.L.D., like he looks like a Japanese superhero. Um, and then in early, early makeup, before he darkened the eyebrows and added the blue, um, I think there definitely was sort of like a, you know, kind of kabuki aesthetic to all of them, but specifically to Ace Frehley. I don't know, I always got that vibe. And here is his guitar. And I would just absolutely love it if this, like I said, had some, if it was like, had a little canister and it shot rockets and smoke. Brilliant, brilliant man. All right, guys, let's put this on. Lady Space, you like the way I make you feel inside. Take that rocket ride. All right, here we go. Can they actually hold their accessories? Very important, very important to know. And since these are in the, you know, G.I. Joe scale, we're gonna have, I'm gonna judge it like it was a G.I. Joe. I should have brought a G.I. Joe. I have some over there on my desk. And when I grab the, when I grab the um, other open uh, Entertainment Earth Kiss figures that I have, I actually have some G.I. Joes over there as well. I should have grabbed them. Oops, sorry. Like you can't, you can't judge a, you can't judge a kiss in a G.I. Joe. What that means to you, what is what that means to you. All right. So, get your hands in there. It's a little all over the place, but it, yeah, there we go. It's the best I can do. It's a little tight in the hand. Um, he's a little locked down there. Come on, ace really. It's a little locked down, so it's, you know, it's, it's for semi-display. It's to say I told you so. But isn't he cool? All right, there we go. I think the, you know, to compare the last wave and the new wave, I'm not seeing much difference. They look fantastic. Oh my God, don't tell Gene that I'm holding him next to Ace. Oh my God. 
That's gonna put them with Paul. They get along better. <laughs> Just being playful. Oh, guitar fell. Sorry, guys. Alrighty. Should we, let's open a, let's open one more. Where is it? Maybe I'll open all of these up. And, and uh, there we go. Let's open the Psycho Circus Catman. They do open very, very clean. I'll say that. So if you do open these, they won't destroy the card. A little bit right there. But, oh, okay. So this will be interesting because Peter plays the drums. So let me grab, these are, these are, these want to be lost so badly. Those, those are just saying to me, hey, How's it going? I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna, you're gonna drop these. They will go under the table and they will never be seen again. All right, so we get slides right into his little fist. One, two. Have any of you KISS fans out there ever seen the videos of Eric Carr playing the drums when he was with the band? Oh my God, what a difference. Like, you know, he wore the fox makeup. What a drummer. My goodness. He passed away from, um, I just can't remember the disease he had right now, but yeah, he passed away um, not too long after joining the band. I want to say maybe he did two albums. And yeah, he was, what a, he was a, seemed like a great dude. But I love Peter Chris, of course. How can you not love the flagship guys? And there we have it. Okay, so these two again, Psycho Circus. And then we have our dudes from my last wave just to show them off. I really like the green on Peter Chris's makeup. I think it's awesome. The silver is always fantastic. And for such tiny faces, I really like the detail. Oh, my boys. <laughs> All right, should we do the kiss tongue? Gross. Just kidding. All right. So again, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with us all the time. Follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube. Our YouTube channel is growing. I am so incredibly grateful. And yeah, just follow us on social media. Check out toy-wizards.com for daily toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarkticles, editorials, opinion pieces, and so many more amazing things that are toy related. And yes, I want to send, let's check out real quick before we go. Oh, look, they do have a, a different, uh, a same sculpt, different paint. Yes, yeah, so this one doesn't have the blue yet because the blue came later. And it doesn't have a, as defined of eyebrows because that came later. So cool, my God. Love this band. Such a KISS fan. And if you guys want to yell at me for not opening every single one of them, because that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens um, in some of our videos when we don't open every single piece. I'm not trying to be snarky, guys. I love you out there. But my goodness. Chill. Love you. Be good. Be safe. Have fun. Collect. Show off your toys. Enjoy. It's a hobby. It's fun. And we will catch you soon. Okay? Catch you later. Bye.